want to become a POC programmer, but you're asking yourself, can I really do this? I, I know that there's about seven things that are really holding you back, and I want to cover them today. I'm going to show you exactly how to get past each and every one of them. When somebody asks me, uh, can I really do this? Can I really become a POC programmer? Here's what I tell them. But first, let, let, let me share uh, that every day I get asked, uh, I speak with people and I get asked online and in person uh, this very same question, can I really do it? Some of them are technicians, some of our maintenance professionals been in the industry for a long time. Some are just fresh out of college and some are just flat out curious. But they all ask the same question in one form or another. Can I really do this? Here's the hard truth. Most never get started. Not because they lack talent or desire, but they run into some invisible roadblocks. I mean, these mental walls, they feel like mountains. And if you let them, they will be the mountain that holds you back. But if you're an aspiring POC programmer and you felt stuck overwhelmed or unsure where to begin, this video is for you. I want to break down the seven most common barriers and talk about how you can break through each and every one of them. But first, let me tell you a quick story, a personal story about choosing something bigger than yourself. To begin with, you know, I'm nobody special. I lived in a boy's home for almost eight years. Then I ended up going to 12 schools in 12 years as a child. I never completed college. And to this day, I have a broken and damaged childhood family. To top that all off, I, I've had dozens of contracts and jobs as a controls engineer, but I have also been privileged to have worked all over the world on cutting edge automation systems and have led multi-million dollar projects for billion dollar companies. But none of this is as nearly as improbable or as meaningful as being married for nearly 40 years to the same woman. We met when I was 16 and she was 14. We dated for about six months. During that time, I asked her to marry me. She said, when the time is right, well, very shortly after I joined the U.S. Marines for four years, right? During which time I did I traveled around the world. You know, we casually stayed in touch, wrote some letters, and had the occasional long distance and expensive phone calls when you, you get a great big pile of quarters and you have to keep feeding the, the phone uh, because there were no cell phones, no email, no internet. Then one day I got a letter that changed everything. She wrote, this will be the last letter I send you unless you're coming back. If you want to marry me, it needs to be now. Uh... <laughs> I scrambled. I did everything I could to push the Navy to get me home, and somehow it worked. But if you'd asked me, looking back at my life then, how I grew up, how many schools I went to, how chaotic things looked for me, I'd have never bet on me maintaining a 40-year marriage. To be honest, if you'd asked me at 16, I'd have probably been a bit insecure too. But I was blinded by love. I chose to go after something I wanted and believed it. And I've learned that when you choose with your heart and commit with your whole self, you'll surprise yourself with what's possible. You have the opportunity these days to pursue, to pursue something that will change your life and something that will challenge you and something that, that will even pay you five to six figure salary. And it's gonna open up global opportunities. You can get job offers to work anywhere in the world from oil rigs to Antarctica to Florida at the, at the space station. It's amazing the amount of opportunities. And in this process, you're going to be able to build a purposeful and adventurous life. That's something for me, which controls engineering. And if it's calling to you, let's talk about what might be holding you back. And there are typically seven common roadblocks holding aspiring PLC programmers back. The first one is, where do I start? Where do I even begin? You know, there's Studio 5000, Connected Components, Workbench, Ladder Logic, Rungs, Tags, Scan Cycles. Man, I get it. It's enough to freeze anyone in place. But there's a fix. I want you to start with one thing. Start small. Start real. Find something. Do something. Then look again. Find something. 
do something and continue that process. Look, <clears throat> one of the things you might want to learn to do is how to integrate a PowerFlex 525 drive. It's a perfect gateway. It takes hardware, software, troubleshooting, and logic all in one, as an example. Now, the second roadblock is what should I actually learn? There are thousands of hours of content out there, but most of it's not going to get you hired to do the work you think you're going to do. Okay, how to fix this is you got to understand some some parameters, right? You obviously need to understand ladder logic, but in that first year, you're not going to be writing a ton of program. You're going to be troubleshooting, connecting devices, reading and writing uh, wires to drives. You're going to be using some studio, maybe some legacy uh, uh, RS Logic 500. You might be using the connected components. Get an idea of what it is you're going to be working with in that first year, which is generally going to be device level driven. Take a device, integrate it into a, a, a program. Um, that's probably where you're going to begin with. And I'm going to talk about where you can get that kind of training here at the end, later on anyhow. So the third question is, how will I learn it? I mean, YouTube is amazed. There's some really great videos out there by some awesome instructors. But when you're new to this, it's it's amazed. It's confusing. You know, college is expensive. Training company rarely comes around. And most certainly isn't going to come around for new guys. The fix is you've got to learn by doing. My belief is you got to learn by using interactive simulation training. That's what we built into our courses. You don't just watch our course like a video. You click, you toggle, you configure, test, troubleshoot, just like on the job. Doing the type of work you're going to do within that first one or two years. Okay. Number four, when will I have time? Look, we're all busy. Maybe you've got a job, I'm sure you do. Maybe a family, maybe both. Well, the fix is you don't need hours a day. You need about 30 minute chunks at the end of your day or during lunch or at work. These really stack on to progress. That's why in our PowerFlex 525 course, it's built with short, focused, five and 10 minute interactive lessons so you can learn during your lunch break on the couch or before bed. Now. Number five, how can I practice without expensive hardware or software? Well, Rockwell licenses and hardware are expensive. I'm aware of that. And that scares off a lot of beginners. The fix, use interactive HTML simulations. You don't need to buy a single device. Our training simulates drives, faults, buttons, all from your browser. No hardware, no software, no downloads, no licenses, no travel, and scale any size team. That, that, I think that that's a fix because it, it's a, it's important to be able to get that high level repetition doing the work over and over without the stumbling blocks of the software and hardware. Okay, now uh, number six, why this over everything else? So you have cybersecurity, robotics, IT. They're all sound. They all sound interesting. So why automation? Because it's a career that will not disappear because factories are desperate for skilled talent, because automation is at the heart of modern industry, and because you get to solve real problems with real machines, not just push pixels around the screen. If you think that the only thing you want to do is, is write code, AI is going to be a challenge. It's going to be a tool, but it's going to trim back some labor. It's going to really modify that. But if you, may, if you have a, a career that that does use software, which would eventually use AI, and, and you go out in the real world and you make things work, right? You problem solve, wire things, configure things, you get it working, you get the software and the hardware talking and working, there's no replacement for that. We have no robots that can do the physical and the computer work, that's why. Um, number seven, will this actually work for me? I know, I know, I know. You've tried and failed before. You're not technical enough. I don't know anyone in the industry. I'm scared it's too late. Look, I didn't start till I was 40. Uh, that, that voice in your head isn't truth, it's fear. The same fear I had at 16, wondering if I could marry that girl. The same fear I had when I picked up my first controls project. The same fear I get sometimes, even to this day, when starting something new. And here's what I know. Fear doesn't mean stop. It means pay attention and proceed with courage. Be ready to take the first 
step. If you're ready to finally break through and build real skills and automation, we built a course just for you. It's a PowerFlex 525 Essentials course. It has about eight video lessons, 12 hands-on simulations. You won't need any hardware, software, no wiring, no nothing, but it's going to look and feel like it's real. Uh, you're going to be able to get some confidence configuring, integrating, and troubleshooting the PowerFlex 525 into Studio 5000. And this course is designed for beginners, technicians, and engineers alike. And again, it's great for be before work, during lunch, at the end of the day, or right before you go to bed. I'm going to have a link for you down below, okay? Sometimes in life, all it takes is the courage to say yes to it girl to a career to a future you didn't think was possible i did and you can too my name is paul Dadinas. i would encourage you to sign up for our logics magazine newsletter try one of our free logics trainer demos where we use interactive simulation that requires no software downloads no hardware purchases and no license renewals and soon you'll be able to join us for one of our live online workshops where we share everything a growing automation engineer needs. So until next time, this is Paul.